morning. Oh my gosh, I am so lucky. I was able to find a push button for, for my uh, action cage. Yeah. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> May 22. Let's uh, check out the traffic. Punishment and pain. It's the worst lesson in life. And the best teacher. Best teacher. Because some people are just hard headed. A lot of people talk about simplicity, but uh, they add more complications in life. Hmm. Complications are not bad if you know how to handle them and be ready for the consequences. So how did I fix my, uh, my cage? Well, yesterday afternoon, I uh, passed by an electrical shop and asked if they have unused remote controls. This is a shop that I usually go to, and I know. And luckily he did. He did have uh, some remote controls. He showed me some, and then I uh, pointed to one and asked him how much it is, and he just gave it to me for free. But of course, uh, this, this was just an experiment. I had no clue whether it was going to work. So as soon as I got home, I uh, gave it a try. And look, voila, it's working. One push. Not those dogs. <laughs> now that is simplicity. They're just enjoying, enjoying each other's company. Obviously the only time they suffer is when they can't find food. Suff Human beings suffer from too many things. <laughs> We've just made our lives more complicated. I read the news last night about uh, a typhoon at, uh, or a low pressure area that could turn into a typhoon. Well, by the end of this week. Let's hope it doesn't. There's a guy in a checkered shirt walking ahead of me and he keeps on looking back. <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs> the garbage collectors. Let's see if he's gonna look back again. Come on. Come on. Nope. <laughs> He's restraining himself. <laughs> Very now close. Maybe you know how far he was a while ago. Oh, I have already overtaken him. Now, if he starts jogging, jeez. I won't be surprised anymore. Early morning traffic. Oh, 
there's a lot of people in the Zumba aerobics. I got an amount, amazing amount of sweat building up. Amazing. Jeez. I don't think I'll uh, remove my towel from my hands anymore. Oh wow, there's a lot of people. Wonder what they are doing. There's a bit of a breeze. But it's uh, very warm, very humid, despite the breeze. And I'm amazed, that, I'm amazed with that guy. He's wearing uh, uh, plastic over his body. I can't believe how anyone can wear a sweatsuit in this kind of condition. That's gonna dehydrate you. Jeez. <laughs> oh my god. Thursday, Sunday, Monday. I wonder what they're checking. The motorbikes? Speeders? Utility vehicles? Or the utility vehicle? Morning rush. The thing about the morning rush is we cannot find a bus or transportation. That's the worst. Or if ever you find one, somebody uh, interrupts you or cuts, cuts into you. There's a, there was a guy who used to uh, jog here before. I don't see him anymore. Hmm. Or maybe he comes at a later time. How the heck can you pass through that? I'm forced to pass through the road.
pedestrian lanes to uh, to pass through. Wow, that dog win. And for a moment I thought that dog would cross. Huh. Nope. like uh, the aerobics out in the Ganyan. and they're all wearing red today Hata. the good thing my camera is working properly it's not the camera it's just a push button huh. And I'm so lucky that the push button I'm using has the word OK, Enter. How lucky can I be? The dog is relieving itself. Jeez. That's one happy dog. And if you, if you don't look where you're going and slip on that one, yeah. The guy who sells plastic uh, stuff at the exit of our subdivision on his way down. Away from here to catch up with him, he's rolling down. <laughs> So I don't have really have to go across to buy bananas there. She has fruits. Sometimes I forget. House had a tiled facade. Uh, large, large size uh, tiles. And uh, that person bought it brand new. After a few years, the tiles started to fall off one at a time. So, what he finally did was, he had all the tiles removed and uh, resurfaced the area and had it repainted. <laughs> That's the problem. You make it more complicated. <laughs> 